Okay, what's up, what's up, my form tree? Okay, welcome to our class. This week, okay, uh, this video is supposed to for this week, okay, the video previously I uploaded is actually for last week, okay, sorry for the delay again, okay, I hope you are ready. This week, we are going into a new chapter, okay, chapter 4, minerals. Okay, finally, we have finished our biology part, we are coming into the chemistry part. This chapter will be a bit hard. Okay, will be a bit hard. I'll try my best to split it into as small as I can. Okay, so again, if you have any question, please watch it a few more times and feel free to ask me any question. All right. Okay, this part is called minerals. Okay, what are minerals? Okay, what are minerals? Okay, you need to remember the definition. They are solid elements or compounds, okay, found naturally. Where? It's not mentioned here in the Earth's crust. Remember what is crust? Crust is the outermost layer. Okay, basically under your feet, that is the Earth's crust. Lah. Okay, so anything in the crust we can find, that is what we call mineral. Okay, of course it must be in solid. Okay, so uh, elements, sorry, minerals, they are divided into elements or compounds. Do you know what is element? Element means one type of atom only. Okay, compound means two or more, more than two. Sorry. Okay, more than two atoms, type of atoms. Okay, so two types here. Okay, so look at, let's look at elements. Okay, elements means, let's say, gold. If I find gold in earth crust, I get it out, that is pure gold. I can straight away use the gold to buy something or whatever, if you can find that. Okay, so these elements are mostly very expensive, very rare, because they are so stable, they will not react with other elements, they will stay there the same. If 10 million years ago I'm a gold, after 10 million years now, I'm still gold. 10 more million years later, I'm still gold. That's why they are so expensive because they are so stable. Okay, so what are the examples? Diamond. Okay, diamond. Every girl's best friend. Okay, so what else? Silver. Okay. These are what we use for currency. Okay, especially gold. You can gold, you can buy anything. Okay, don't save money, save gold. Gold will not drop in value. Okay, five ringgit you saved 10 years ago, you can eat a plate of noodle. 10 years later, now can you eat a plate of noodle with five bucks? Mm, yeah, it's very hard. But gold, one piece of gold 100 years ago, maybe you can buy a house. 100 years later, you can still buy a house. Okay, that's why they are very expensive. Okay, others. The not so stable, not so expensive, the cheap metals, they are more unstable. They will react with other elements and then they will form something called ore. What is ore? Ore is unpure, okay? Not unpure, impure metals, okay? Like what? Bauxite, okay? Bauxite. What is bauxite? You scratch from a earth, you get bauxite. This is aluminium ore, which means this is aluminium done lying light. You have jumpo jumpo everything inside. Can you straight away use this like gold? No, you need to take the aluminium out. How do we take it out? We will talk about this in the next few lessons. Okay, we need to take out the pure aluminium. This is not pure aluminium. Okay, we want pure aluminium. So the not pure one, we call it ore. Okay, you don't need to remember the name. Bauxite is for people who, don't, who can't say aluminium oxide because we study science, we can say. Those who know science, they just call it bauxite. Okay, you learn this in geography, in fact. Okay, pelombongan bauxite. Okay, so hematite is iron ore. Okay, the iron you use to make metal, uh, you use to make iron. Okay, your car door, everything is made from iron. You take everything from iron ore. Of course, you cannot use this, like you need to take out the iron. Okay, so galena is lead ore. Uh, what is cassiterite? Right? What is tin ore? Tin ore is BG Timala. Ah, this is what the British came here for, isn't it? Okay, Tima is tin. Tin, we call it tin mining. Or is BJ. Like I said, the down line line, we call it BJ. Or, we can't use the or. We need to extract the metal out. Okay, we need to throw other things away. Okay, so what, are, what else? Calcite, okay, this is calcium ore. Okay, quartz, quartz is silicon ore. Okay, you can find this in your watch or your clock. Okay, they put quartz inside. Okay. Why? Don't ask me why. Okay, I'm not going to explain. It's too long. Okay, so let's look at uh, minerals that can be found. Okay, let's name them. Okay, like I said, hematite is 
people who don't study science, the scientific systematic name we call it iron tree oxide. Okay, iron why is it tree? Don't ask me why. Okay, so why is it impure? Because it contains iron and oxygen. Okay, just now gold. What does gold contain? Gold only contains gold. Any gold oxide? No. Okay, but here you have iron oxide. Okay. So what we want is this iron. What we don't want is the oxygen. How do you throw this oxygen away? It's not as simple as you think. You need to melt this thing. Okay, iron all melts at around thousand something degrees Celsius. That's why extracting iron is very expensive. Okay, so cassiterite, our tin four oxide. Okay, this is our tima la B tima. So it also contains tin and oxygen. Can you see everything has oxygen? All the unstable metals they will react with oxygen. Okay, because there's a lot of oxygen in the in the ground. Okay, so quartz, silicon dioxide, also it has silicon and oxygen, the one we don't want. Okay, and then bauxite again, aluminium, oxygen. We don't want oxygen. Galena, lead and sulfur. Ah, this one has you know what sulfur? Sulfur is a yellowish powder. In Mandarin we call it liu huang. The yellowish powder we use to chase snakes away. Okay, so we don't want the sulfur. Okay, pyrite, iron and sulfur, we don't want sulfur again. Okay, so Calcium, marble, chalk, limestone, okay, calcium, carbon, oxygen. This is our focus today. Limestone. Okay, limestone. Okay, so short term, uh, short, uh, long name we call it calcium carbonate. Okay, so what is limestone? This is what Malaysia is super rich in. Okay, if you are on the way to Ipoh, next time, if you don't sleep in the car, if you are on the way to Ipoh, look. At your right and left side, you can see mountains. Okay, let's say this is the highway. You around here, you see mountains. Okay, mountains. Okay, and the mountains they look very pretty. It's like flat ground and one mountain. Okay, that is what we call a limestone. Okay, limestone. In Mandarin, we call shihui. Okay, sac fui. Okay, we use this to make a uh, cement. Okay, the 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 cement that you use to build house, the cement. Okay, so this is limestone. Okay. So, uh, a lot of things have calcium carbonate. Even chalk, okay. Even your teeth have calcium carbonate. Your nails have calcium carbonate. Okay. Even eggshell is calcium carbonate. Okay. You can find limestone anywhere. Okay. So, let's look at this experiment. Okay. So we look at uh, limestone is a mineral that has many use in daily life, such as construction of roads, buildings, and tabletops. Okay. Is limestone a natural compound made of several elements? Okay. Limestone. Let's do this experiment. Okay, one experiment we add acid. Okay, calcium carbonate is limestone lah. Okay, please say calcium carbonate here. We add hydrochloric acid. Okay, one we add acid, another we heat it. Okay, another we heat it. One we add acid, one we heat it. Okay, so can you see here you have lime water? You have lime water. Lime water is not ai limau ah, not your teo ice limau ah, not not that. Okay, lime water is. The limestone water we call shi hui sui, it's like fui sui. Okay, so ai kapo. Okay, ai kapo. So what is lime water for? Lime water is to test carbon dioxide. Okay, if carbon dioxide is present, this thing will turn chalky, or milky, or cloudy. Okay, what is cloudy? Lime water is clear, like your drinking water. If it meets with carbon dioxide, it will turn white. Okay, like kero. Okay, like very dirty inside. So cloudy, chalky, milky. Okay, so let's look at the observation. When I add acid, before that is colorless. Okay, the lime water is colorless because there's no carbon dioxide. When I add acid, it becomes cloudy. It means there is carbon dioxide in my calcium carbonate. If I add acid, the calcium carbonate can cut. The carbon dioxide will come out. Okay, again, calcium carbonate, if I put acid, carbon dioxide will come out. Okay, same case if I heated it, before heating it is colorless, after I heat, cloudy also. So also I have carbon dioxide, okay, which means limestone inside has carbon dioxide. Okay, so when you heat eggshell, you release carbon dioxide. Okay, not very much, but okay. So let's look at the question. Name the gas tested using lime water, carbon dioxide, I mentioned just now. How is the test for gas carrier explained? Flow the gas through lime water. If lime water turns cloudy, okay, cloudy, milky, chalky, the gas is carbon dioxide. If lime water does not turn cloudy, then it is not carbon dioxide. Okay, so uh, this is the word equation you need to know. 
Okay, so calcium carbonate plus hydrochloric acid, it becomes calcium chloride, carbon dioxide and water. Okay, the first one not so important. The second one is very important, especially this B1. Calcium carbonate, when you heat it, it becomes calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. Okay, I'm sorry you have to memorize this because this is chemical stuff. Okay, you will uh, you will learn into detail in chemistry next year. Okay, it will make sense, I swear. Okay, so let's look at natural properties of natural mineral. I'm gonna go through this. Okay, calcium oxide is the one we look at just now. Okay, physical characteristic means we look at the hardness, color, melting point. Okay, it is white in color. Lime is white in color. Okay, so chemical characteristic it is base. Base means alkaline. Okay, soluble in water. Okay, used in daily life. Since this is alkaline, we can use it to neutralize acidic soil. If you have acid rain and then your soil is very acidic, you put calcium oxide inside and then your uh, soil will be neutral. Okay, so silicon dioxide, like the one I put it in my watch, okay, the one inside your watch, it has high melting point, hard, does not react with acid. Okay, basically silicon dioxide is sand. Quartz is sand. Okay, hardened sand. So to make glass laboratory, okay, like I said, sand is used sand can be used to make glass okay and then make electronics like i say watch okay gold silver and diamond shiny very shiny does not react does not react gold silver diamond like i said they exist as elements in earth crust when you get diamond up is diamond you get silver is silver you get gold is gold you don't need to extract or anything there's no oxygen inside like just not no sulfur that's why they are very shiny very stable okay to make jewelry jewelry cutting tools Okay, diamond is the hardest material in the world. Okay, nothing diamond cannot drill through. Okay, diamond can last for years. That's why when you get married, you use diamond. Okay, it signifies that okay, your marriage will last forever. Okay, maybe not. Okay, so bauxite, okay, aluminum oxide is white, insoluble water. This is used in sunscreen, okay, not so important. Okay, marble, you know marble, the one you use to make tabletop or your floor, if your whole house floor is marble, then wow, congrats, you're super rich. Okay, high melting point in soluble water to make floor top. Okay, marble is very hard to find. Okay, not every country has marble. Okay, so uh, nothing much to talk about here. Let's look at the exercise. Okay, let's look at the exercise. So number one, what is, what is mineral? Okay, solid elements or compounds. Okay, found naturally. Okay, naturally is a keyword in Earth's cross. Okay, so B, name one example. Okay, element, you have so many. Gold, okay, gold, silver, okay, diamond. Okay, compound, you have a uh, bauxite. Okay, oh, the only one, one, just name one lah. Okay, so state two example of minerals that chemical and physical characteristic used in daily life. Okay, wow. So uh, two marks for each. Let's say calcium, the one we learned just now, calcium oxide. Okay, physical characteristic, they are base. Okay, base or alkaline. Okay, used to neutralize soil acidity. Okay, what else? Uh, you have gold. Okay, they do not rust. Okay, so what is it used for? For jewelry. Okay, so store gold. Don't store money. Gold will always work. Okay, so classify above into two groups. So what are elements? I'll just mark up the elements. You just write yourself. Okay, iron. Okay, silver. Potassium. Okay, tin. Okay, diamond. Okay, so five five. Okay, so E give one example of metal or name the elements combined the metal. Okay, for example, bauxite. Okay, or aluminium oxide. Okay, so aluminium oxide contains aluminium and oxygen. Okay, aluminium and oxygen. Okay, this one is aluminium oxide. Okay, so. Number two, scientific name, aluminum oxide. This is my bauxite. Okay, silica is silicon dioxide. Okay, what does it contain? Aluminium and oxygen. See just now. This one is silicon and oxygen. 
tin and oxygen, this is my tin oxide. So, so my ask, hey sir, just I've got four here, ma. The one you don't care, this is chemical stuff. Okay, chemistry stuff. Okay, so this is called cassiterite. Actually, you don't need to remember all these names. Uh. Okay, they want an exam. Okay. Uh, marble. Okay, this one, answer yourself. Okay, put it yourself. So B, what mineral is here? This is gold. Is it the character is the mineral uh, of the mineral? Okay, shiny. Okay, do not rust. Gold will not rust, ah. Uh. If your gold rust, that's not gold. Okay, it's painted metal. Okay, so D. The laboratory apparatus is made of glass, composed of silicon dioxide. Explain why silicon dioxide is suitable to make this apparatus. Why do you use this sand to make glass? Because it will not react with chemicals. Okay, or you can say stable. Glass is very stable. Glass will not react with anything. It will not oxidize on anything. Okay, glass is glass. Okay, so E. What makes diamond a mineral? Okay, it is a solid. Okay, it is found naturally in Earth's crust. Okay, so F. How do jewelers cut diamonds since it's the highest value of hardness? Okay, okay use a diamond cutting wheel okay, or diamond tool. Okay, diamond can be used to cut diamond. Okay, let's talk about this hardness. Okay, this hardness, uh, this extra info, I know in exam, uh, Okay, we measure hardness using a more scale of hardness. Okay, it's from 1 to 10. 1 is the softest. 10 is the super hard one. Okay, so let me show you an example. Okay, more scale of hardness. Okay, let's look at this interesting thing. Okay, so... If you can see here, okay, so one is talc. Talc is your baby powder. Okay, two is gypsum. What is gypsum? Gypsum is your plaster, your shi gao, cycle. Yeah, the one plus you plaster your hand when you when you when you dislocate, you put a casing there. Okay, that is gypsum. Okay, ah, fingernail is two, 2.5. Okay, fingernail is 2.5. Okay, between two and three. Okay. And then copper, copper penny, which is the shilling, is about 3.5. Okay, so knife is 5. Knife is 5. That's why your, your phone screen is 6. Your phone screen is 6. Knife cannot scratch it. Okay, a lower cannot scratch the upper one. Okay, so can you see who is the hardest? The hardest is diamond. Okay, diamond can cut through anything. Okay, you can cut through anything. So quartz, quartz is my glass. Glass is around seven. Okay, so ten is the hardest. Okay, so if you're rich enough, cover your phone with diamond. It's not gonna get scratched. Okay, that is if you shit money. Okay, good for you. Okay, so that's it for today. Okay, thank you for paying attention. I will see you again next week. Bye bye.